Hey there everyone, as you already know, Elementor has recently introduced new cool features like blending modes and CSS filters. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this type of design, which is now possible to create with these new awesome features. So now let's head over to our Elementor editor and see how we can create this particular design with the help of new blending modes that Elementor has just introduced. Now let's go and create a new section. If you want to see a more in-depth overview of new Elementor features, you can go and check this out on our channel. So let's add... Oh, actually we have to go here and change the content width to full width and stretch the section so it takes the entire width of your page. Now let's choose fit to screen, so it's high enough for us to put our image. And that's pretty much it in this tab. And let's go to style tab. Here you see the background tab and let's click on it. And let's choose the background type classic. We don't need to put any color here, we'll go and add a new image. I have found this image of a girl on unsplash.com which you can also do, you can find some image on uh, stock or you can take a photo yourself. The image has just appeared and you see that it's something not what we wanted. And now we have to tweak the position and the size of the image. Let's place it at the center. The attachment, let it be scroll, no repeat and the size cover. So it takes the entire space of your page. Now, as you see here, appeared a new tab called Background Overlay. You're gonna see that you can add a new background. This is a new possibility, so you can blend this background with another image or a uh, gradient overlay. In this case, we're gonna use a gradient overlay. I'm gonna choose, I guess, let it be purple. So you see it overlays the uh, background, the picture of the girl. But if you look at this design and at this one, they look a little different. And you can achieve this result with the help of blending modes. All right, I'm just gonna show you so you can see how it works. Uh, this is the um, uh, settings for this gradient overlay. Now I will move the opacity to 1, so you see it. We are now changing this gradient. Let's change the angle a little. Let it be like that. Uh, type linear is fine. The location is also fine. Now let's reduce the opacity to, to somewhere to 0 0.5. It's gonna be fine. And let's see what we can do with these blending modes. I totally recommend you to go and play around with them and see what results you can achieve. And I'm just gonna show you how these two images interact. As you see, I choose different types of blending modes and my images totally change. Okay, if you paid attention, it seems like in this design I used the color blended mode. And we're gonna leave it as it is. We're gonna use color blended mode. The CSS filters are also here and let's just have a look what they are. But probably we're not gonna see it. We're not gonna see blur because it is gradient. There is nothing to blur. Uh, the brightness, we can add some brightness and we will actually do it. Let's make it just a little brighter like that. The saturation is fine, somewhere at um, 110. So now we are done with our background. But as you see here, I've got some text. And let's see what we can do with the text here. Let's go and add a new heading. And uh, I don't know, just just leave this like 
random text right there and change the size to a really big one and align it to the right. Let's go to the style and change the text color, I guess, to white. The typography, let it be uh, Roboto. And the size, I guess we don't need like the biggest size, so just really want to remove this spacing. Right, um, no, we're not finished here. Let's move the letter spacing up. Uh, style, let it be normal. Let's transform it to uppercase and put the weight to 800. Okay, um, now I want to change the margin because I want my text to be, to be somewhere in the center. And uh, to do this, I want to change the top margin. Don't forget to unlink the values so they don't change all at once. And make it somewhere around 180. Now it's not enough. Um, let it be 300. Yeah, something like that. Uh, also, Let's remove this word, it's like something extra. And in advanced, 350. I guess it's gonna be better. Now let's get back to style tab and here in the title tab, let's go to blend modes. This is the new feature that has just appeared. And now it is normal. What happens if we change it to multiply? Um, okay, screen, overlay. You know, the way uh, the text and the background interact totally depends on the colors that are present in your design. In this case, you can see how white color works with the background colors. So some of them totally desaturate the color of the text, some other just uh, the difference, blending mode. Uh, just puts the uh, colors that are totally opposite to the color of the background. Hue, luminosity. Okay, I guess we're gonna go with overlay. And let's just set the margin to 550. And now that's pretty much it. We have achieved almost the same result that we have here. You know, the way you want to do your designs totally depends on your taste and you can choose any images you want, use any colors you want and just give your imagination total freedom. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave your thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out our Elementor Marketplace, where you can find a lot of cool add-ons for Elementor Page Builder, awesome Elementor WordPress themes and totally useful Elementor templates. See you the next time!